There's about six dolphins on the uh, this side of the net. They went under it, actually, trying to escape, but they went in the wrong direction. There's one tangled up in the net over there in the process of drowning just in front of Tim. There's another one tangled in the net. The dolphin hunters do nothing to save them. Neither does the Coast Guard. Here we have all the journalists from Japan just simply gawking and selling the footage and spinning the story in such a way to uh, perpetuate this barbaric practice. It's not cultural. It's not traditional. Japanese people historically have never done this kind of cruelty. This is something new. Here's a dolphin right here in front of us, panic-stricken, trying to find a way out. Oh, man. See, if I get in the water and try and help this animal, I will be arrested immediately. The police are all over the place. This one is... This is... This is... This is anguish. This is a male dolphin, a young male dolphin. Uh, Riso's dolphin, panic-stricken on the rocks, and I am heartbroken that I can't get in the water and help him away from him. He's tearing his skin up. This is awful. Why don't you come over here and help him? Again. This is terrible. Look at this. This is extremely cool. This is exactly why the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums told their members in uh, the Japan Association of Zoos and Aquariums to stop this barbaric practice. But they haven't done that. Here come the dolphin hunters taking their sweet time. This is just awful. I feel like getting in the water. Sometimes we have to make split decisions here. And if I were to step on that rock and try and rescue this dolphin, I will be arrested and probably put away for a long time and deported. Shame on these guys. They bring shame to Japan. They bring shame to Taiji. Then they blame it on outsiders. They have to start being responsible for their own actions. That dolphin's not going to make it. He's given up. These are the cruelest 50 men in the world, right here. They'll be doing this extreme cruel capture process for the next six months. Shame on the captivity industry for not being here and doing something about it. Shame on the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums, the Japanese Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Shame on them for not being here and taking a stand on this. I don't see that resource dolphin anymore. We're sending over a diver, probably with a knife to take him out. Down. He's down, he's on the bottom. When dolphins die, they sink through the bottom. And I think that may have happened to that resource dolphin. And all these Japanese journalists here are simply gawking and selling photographs and they'll spin this story as it's our tradition, our culture, leave us alone. It is not the Japanese tradition or culture to do this extreme cruel work. It's only about 50 to 100 men who are doing this. Shame on them. They don't represent the Japanese people.
That dolphin that was on the rocks over here and was pulled away uh, is on the bottom now. He's dead, he or she. Actually, it was a male, I remember now. My mind's a little confused at this. This is, this is so stressful. This is so difficult to witness. I almost got in the water. I almost got in the water, and maybe I should have, to get him off the rocks. I clearly would have been arrested, but maybe that's a good thing to bring attention to these atrocities that are taking place here. I guess I blew it. I should have gotten the water and saved that dolphin. 